Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, I'm in a new setup. I'm in the US at the moment and it's kind of a combined trip, but I absolutely lined it up with the Nordstrom sale. It was supposed to actually happen two weeks later, but when I knew the Nordstrom sale was happening during these dates, I moved it forward because I have never managed to shop this sale in person and I'm just way too excited because it is one of my favorite sales out of the entire year. It's so great and I have so much great Nordstrom content coming your way. In today's video, I'm going to be focusing on, on kind of a best of and worst of as well. So it's a mix of things. I'm going to be showing you basically the best items I think you can buy from the Nordstrom sale. And this is going to be a mixture of some tried and tested favorites that I already own that they've brought back this year, as well as the items that I'm prioritizing buying this year from the sale. So I have already had a look at all the items in store and there are so many good items, as well as some items which kind of fell short of my expectations. So I will be going over those as well but I'm not gonna be covering everything that I'm gonna buy just because I will be doing haul videos and things like that, but these are the items which for me are absolutely must-haves and which I think also might sell out quite quickly. So I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get started. I did also want to let you guys know that my blog post with everything I've ordered from the sale online is going live at nine o'clock this morning. So I'm actually filming this the day before, but it will be nine o'clock the morning that this video goes up. The Nordstrom sale starts online at 9.30 a.m. Pacific time. I think it's 12.30 Eastern time. I'm not great with time zones in the US, so I hope that's correct. But if I'm wrong, then I will put that up on screen. But I do have a whole blog post with all the items which I'm ordering online because they do have slightly different items online versus in store. I also have a giveaway as well for a $300 Nordstrom gift card. So if you wanna check that out, head over to my blog. I'll put the URL as well as the link to it down below and that will go live at 9 a.m. So I'm gonna be going over the must-have items first. And again, this is a mix of things I already own and love, and also the things which I'm prioritizing buying from the sale. First up is kind of a double whammy because this is something I already own and love, but it's also something that I'm prioritizing buying from the sale just because I cannot get enough of these sweaters. This is the very famous at this point, a Barefoot Dreams sweater. I absolutely love this and I buy this to pretty much every woman that I know because they're just so great. And these are a hit with both men and women, not the cardigans, I mean the fabric. I also have a blanket and it's Dan's favorite thing in the world just because of how incredibly soft and cozy they are but I would say that not all Barefoot Dreams cardigans are created equal and I did see quite a few variations in store today included in the sale so the two that I think are the best ones is this one right here which I have in this kind of stone color they had this in a few different shades um, but this one is great it's the one that I own obviously I would say that these really do come up quite large so I would always definitely size down but I love this it's a great shape it's worn really well it's washed really well and I just love this one to bits. The other one that I saw that I really liked was a black one and that's the other one that I'm getting which is more of a straight cardigan whereas this one has a bit more of a drape and it goes straight down and it has pockets. I just thought it was so chic and lovely and of course the fabric is really really beautiful but as I mentioned they did have other ones which I just wasn't as sure about. In particular they seem to have this very fluffy one which yes it was very soft but it looked a little bit scatty I guess and and I just don't think that they were as chic as the other ones that they had on offer. So not so sure about the super fluffy one, but I absolutely love the shawl one. And I really love the long drapey one as well. Both absolutely gorgeous. And I would say that the Barefoot Dreams cardigans are the items that sell out quickest every single year. So if you did have one on your wish list, I'd absolutely say to get it as soon as you can. Next up are Nordstrom PJs. And this is from Nordstrom's own line. This is the Nordstrom lingerie line. And I cannot even tell you how soft these are. I actually bought these at full price. So this exact pair or set isn't included in terms of the pattern, but the actual pajamas are. And they had a few different variations included. They had this gorgeous um, solid blue one with white piping, so chic. And they also had this really pretty kind of spring floral print as well. And this one is just a matching set. So you have the top, which is just a really cute button down. And then you have the matching shorts. You can also get a full length pajama set as well. And I also own the full length version. 
and honestly I can't even describe how incredibly soft these are they are literally the perfect fabric for pajamas and I'm not even a pajama wearer I usually prefer to wear slips to bed just because I get very warm but these are amazing because they are so lightweight they offer full coverage and everything but they're super lightweight so they're very cool they're very stretchy they're very comfortable and the fabric is just so so soft it's absolutely incredible I love these so much I'd recommend them to anyone and it's amazing that they're included in the cell in both the full length and also the shorter version so if you are also a fan of really soft PJs I would 100% recommend getting these I absolutely adore mine and I'd recommend these to everyone next up are camisoles and these are the BP camisoles which I'm a huge fan of I've bought them for a few years now I'm wearing one today and I'm not sure if this one is included in the sale I bought it in store and they said it wasn't included in the sale which is how I was able to buy it early but when I went online it did say it was included so I saw the link for it so I'll include it down below um, but they do have a few variations of these camisoles I have a lot of them as you can see but I think these are fantastic because even though they're not 100% silk they wash really well they wear really well and they look like they would be 100% silk they're absolutely gorgeous I love the fact that they have adjustable straps you can get a really good fit with them and I just think that they are the cutest item I absolutely love these I love my camisoles anyway and if you can find an affordable cami all the better and these are really great value ones these are another item though that always sell out really really quickly so again if you had your eye on these I'd get them sooner rather than later I love the polka dot one I have on at the moment I'm a huge fan of polka dots so this is me combining everything that I love I do think that this one is actually included in sale despite what I saw in store so as I mentioned, I'll leave links for all of these. There are a few different variations. There's the black one included. There's a white one, which I'm also going to be getting. There's a floral print one. I'll probably get that one as well. Just so many different types. And I think these are just the best buy. So huge fan of these. I love them. Next up are Spanx leggings. And I was so excited to see these included in the sale because they are the best things ever. I'm not the only one that thinks so because these have over 2,000 five-star reviews on Nordstrom.com, which is amazing, but it's completely deserved because they really are the perfect faux leather legging I feel like it's really quite tricky to get the right kind of consistency and fit and there are just so many different elements that go into making a good faux leather legging especially one that isn't crazy expensive but these are amazing the fit is so good it smooths everything out there they have full coverage as well so you're not showing anything and I just absolutely love these so I'm a huge fan I've had mine since last year and I got a ton of use out of them I didn't get them from the Norton cell so it's amazing that they're included this time and if you're also on the lookout for some faux leather leggings I would 100% recommend these they are incredible next up is denim and I always try to make sure to buy at least one pair of jeans from the Norton cell just because it's such a good opportunity to buy designer denim at a discount and I tried on literally every single blue pair of jeans that they had included in the cell Nordstrom today and there were a lot of duds I'm not gonna lie um, but by far the standout favorite for me were the AG jeans I'm 100% getting these they are absolutely amazing I love AG jeans anyway I've had some really good pairs from them in the past and these were just head and shoulders above the rest like they were so flattering they are a raw hem and I'm usually a lot more critical of raw hem jeans just because I think it's more difficult for them to be flattering but I loved everything about these they were comfortable they were stretchy they still such you in though it was a really nice shape they were skinny all the way down to the ankle because I hate it when they flare out a little bit and these are just everything that I wanted them to be you know a good wash great color just so so good so I tried on a whole bunch of them and a lot of these are going to make my duds which is coming up later on in the video but absolutely my favorite were the AG jeans definitely definitely recommend next up is a dress that I already own I don't have it with me unfortunately but I will post some pictures of me wearing it because I have a lot of photos of me wearing this dress I own it in three colors now I think I've actually lost count but it's absolutely amazing it's a pretty famous Nordstrom dress at this point because I feel like everyone has this dress but they have included it in the sale and they have a whole bunch of colors included I saw this really kind of pretty pink purple color super super cute they do have a few different iterations of it though and if you don't have this dress already then I would recommend it I think it's so beautiful it's just such a great fit much more affordable than the self-portrait version and even if you do have it if you wanted to pick up another color now is a great time to do it with the sale obviously next up are a couple of beauty favorites and I don't have a ton of beauty included but I wanted to mention the beauty bio glow pro because it's included in the sale and you get an enormous kind of gift pack with all 
kinds of things. You get extra attachments, you get um, some products with it as well. Just so many good things. The set is beautiful. This one I think is exclusive to Nordstrom. The one included in the sale is in white, um, but I mean the color obviously doesn't matter unless you really care about that sort of thing because it all works the same and the Glow Pro is pretty much my favorite skincare discovery ever. It's absolutely amazing. I have talked about this on my channel before, so I'm not gonna go on too much about it, but it really is an incredible tool. It just makes everything look better, sink in better in terms of skincare. It really does do exactly what it says it's going to do. And I'm just absolutely in love with this product. So if you've been eyeing one up, now is a great time to get it. It's a really great value kit and it's just such a game changer when it comes to skincare. And speaking of skincare, I do have another device that I wanted to mention, which is also included in the sale. And this is a newer purchase for me. I've only had this for a little while, but I've been loving it so much. This is the new face and it's basically a toning, device for your face. That's the best way I can describe it. And I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to use this in combination with the Glow Pro, which I'm obviously very, very wedded and attached to at this point. But I looked it up and lots of people said that they actually use this in combination. So they use this about five times a week and then the Glow Pro a couple of times a week. So mostly the new face. And this basically is supposed to sculpt and tone your face and then also prevent sagging and kind of aging in general. And so many people absolutely raved about this that I was like, well, I'm gonna have to give it a go. And again, I totally see what the hype is about. It's such a nifty little tool. Mine is the mini version. I didn't want to splurge on the big version because I just didn't know if it was gonna work, but I'd be happy to do that because it really is the best little device. And this one is also included in the cell. They do have two different versions. They have a body one and a face one. I've not tried the body one, I'm sure it works, but this is the face one and this is the one that I love and I'd also highly recommend. Now kind of moving on to the items which I don't have here, um, but I am planning on buying and I'm really excited about a lot of these purchases because they're just some really, really great things. Um, so first up on my list and if I was only gonna get one thing from the sale, this is going to be it because they're just amazing. So you guys know I like my shoes, I like my bags as well, um, but I'm always on the lookout for good comfy flats and I don't feel like they're very easy to come by. And I tried on a bunch of different flats. Again, some duds are gonna make it into my do not buy category later on in the video. Um, but by far my favorite were the Cole Han, I don't remember the star name, but it was basically a pointy flat. And these are so, so comfortable. I tried them on in both the blush and the leopard print and I'm going to get both. Um, I think they come in black as well and maybe one other color, but I thought the blush was super pretty. They also have a cut out detail as well, which I love, and I love the leopard print as well. I'm a huge fan of leopard print shoes, so I knew I wanted to try and get a pair. Usually the sale does include at least one pair of leopard print pumps, and these ones are just absolutely beautiful and so, so comfy. So this is absolutely the purchase that I'm most excited about. I would say that they do run big though, so I usually take a seven and a half and I had to size down or I'm going to size down to a size seven. So keep that in mind. Um, but the leather is so buttery soft. They have good support. They look great. And I'm just super, super excited about these. So 100% my favorite discovery. I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to get hold of them. Um, but yeah, absolutely love these. Would definitely recommend checking it out if you are also after some good flats. And onto handbags now. I checked out pretty much all the handbags that they had in stock. Um, they had a few different varieties. They had a lot of Kate Spade. They had a lot of Tory Burch. They had some Marc Jacobs. They had quite a few different styles. Um, I really liked the Tory Burch crossbody. They had a few different Tory Burch styles, um, including a newer version of the tote from last year. And it actually seems like a better version because they've reinforced the bottom. I know that was an issue with the one that I have. So if you were kind of put off by that, then I'd maybe check that out. But I'm gonna be getting the pink crossbody, which I love. This comes in four different colors, I think. I saw a black, I saw a blue, and I think I saw a tan as well, but me being me, of course, I like the pale pink, but I thought this was adorable. It's a nice wallet on chain, but it's a larger version of a wallet on chain, so it was plenty roomy. It had some card slots, just everything that you'd want, but it was also really lightweight with some really kind of beautiful grain smushy leather, so. I love this. I thought the price was pretty good as well. I think it was $150, which not too bad. Um, and yeah, I thought this was so, so lovely. So that is definitely another one on my list. 
Onto a couple of more shoe picks and boots are another one that I almost always buy from the Nordstrom sale just because they do have some really good options usually. And the first pair that I kind of zeroed in on were the Vince ankle boots. These absolutely stood out above all the others just because the design is so sleek, but they also just looked really well made. I love the shape of them. They have the little cutout on the front, which I always think is so flattering. The suede was beautiful as well. And I just love these. I thought they were so, so nice. These ones were more on the pricey side, but they did seem to be a lot better quality than some of the other cheaper versions. I am gonna try some of the cheaper versions on as well, just to see if the price difference is worth it. But I definitely want to order the Vince ones just because I instantly thought they were beautiful. The color is really nice as well. And for me, these just look like the perfect, perfect ankle boots. Onto some clothing picks now, and I'm sure I am going to buy more than this, but for me, there are only kind of four really standout pieces, at least that I saw today. Um, number one on my list were the blank NYC draped jackets. So these are actually faux leather and I tried them on in two different colors. I didn't realize till later that they were actually the same jacket, but it explains why I like them both so much. But I tried this on in the kind of steely gray color and also the black. I don't know which I'm going to go for. I'm tempted to buy them both and see which one is easier to style because I just love this so much. The fit was really great. It wasn't plasticky like a lot of faux leathers can be. I love the drape and especially on the black one, it was black all over but the kind of inner suede like bit was a bit more like a navy blue so it was a really pretty contrast it fit really well on the back as well it was cut a little bit higher so it was quite flattering and I just thought these are beautiful so I'm super super excited about this jacket just such a nice little find and not too expensive either on to rail shirts now and it wouldn't be an autumn sale without rail shirts they bring these back every single year and it's a great time to get one on sale because they are so expensive usually they do have a whole bunch of different colors included as usual though the most popular colors do seem to sell out very quickly so it's another one to move fast on if you did have your eye on it for me the standout colors were the berry red and the blue I think I'm definitely going to get the berry red I have a similar color at home but it's getting a little bit worn now so I wanted to get a replacement and this is such a pretty shade but the blue one is really pretty as well they also had the green one and the white one in store but I didn't think those were as pretty in real life in my opinion um so for me definitely the standout colors were the berry red and the blue next up is a slightly pricier item but it is the Rebecca Taylor blouse I love the fact that they include Rebecca Taylor in the sale absolutely one of my favorite designers of all time and her stuff is really expensive so it's amazing to get it at a discount and I thought this blouse was so pretty the colors are lovely the fabric was beautifully soft and silky I love a good floral print and this just looked like a super flattering lovely piece so absolutely another one on my hit list I'm so excited about this one Next up is a blazer from Halogen, and I do have my eye on a few different blazers during the sale, um, but I didn't see them all in store, so I don't want to comment on those that I haven't actually seen, but I tried this one on, and it was actually one that my mum picked out because she really liked it as well, so we may be twinning these blazers, um, but I thought this was lovely. It was a, just a very simple kind of black and white check, but the fit was so nice, and for me, the fit with blazers is everything. If it doesn't fit well, I'm not going to like it, but this fits so well. It was a really nice length it was a nice shape wasn't too boxy but at the same time it wasn't cut too skinny and just perfect in pretty much every way so huge fan of this this one was halogen i believe um, but yeah absolutely love this one so definitely gonna try and score this one Next up is my avoid category. Now, obviously you guys can buy whatever you want, but these are the items which I was really excited about that I zeroed in on, I wanted to try on, but when I did try them on, they were just a little bit off in some way, whether that was the fit or the material or the cut, there was just something that didn't really live up to my expectations. So if you also have kind of similar taste to me, maybe we'd go for the same thing. Hopefully this will help you making a buying mistake and let's get started. So first up is denim. And as I mentioned, I tried on a whole bunch of different pairs of jeans and the two worst ones in my opinion were number one, the frame jeans. And I'm a huge fan of frame. I have a few pairs by frame denim and they're always really great. But these ones were just so not flattering and I loved the look of them just kind of on the table. I thought they were a really nice wash. They looked to be a good kind of skinny. I loved the rip. I loved everything about them. I tried them on and I just felt like these weren't very flattering. They made me look a bit stumpy, I think. They weren't that flattering and 
yet these just really weren't working for me. So maybe if you have a totally different body shape to me, these might work for you, but I was really, really underwhelmed by these, especially because usually I absolutely love frame denim. So not a fan of this particular pair. And the frame jeans were closely followed by the rag and bone jeans. Rag and bone are another one that I love. I've had really good experiences with the few pieces I own from rag and bone. I don't own a ton from them, but the items I do have, I really love. Uh, but these jeans were awful. Um, they were a kind of a weird indigo color and I wasn't sure about them on the table, but I thought these might be ones that you just kind of try on, you instantly know. I did instantly know, but I instantly knew they were terrible. Um, it was just a weird kind of fabric. They creased a lot and bunched a lot, which is never really cute on a pair of skinny jeans, I don't think. And yeah, I didn't like anything about these. They were just a weird wash, a weird color, a weird fit, and really, really not worth the money in my opinion. So again, if you have completely different taste in jeans to me, um, maybe these might work, but certainly these were the worst two pairs I tried on. Next up is a BP leopard print cardigan. And this is one that I saw online on bloggers and I saw it styled really well. So I wanted to try it on. I was almost certain I was gonna get it, but I tried this on and I didn't even take a picture. It was that bad, um, but this was really underwhelming and I think it was because of the lack of collar but even though it had a lack of collar it was also cut kind of high so it was just that in-between thing of not having a collar but also kind of having a bit of a collar so it was just really weird you couldn't fold it over and the print was a lot louder in person as well and yeah I just didn't like this so even though I'm a big fan of leopard print this really didn't work for me personally um just yeah a bit too much in every way and the fit really really wasn't for me at all now for a leather jacket and this is one from Chelsea 28 which is a brand that I usually absolutely love and on the hanger I thought this looked great and the leather was really beautiful and buttery soft but trying on it was really boxy and and maybe it was just my style that didn't really go with kind of my general look and outfits, but I didn't think this was very flattering. It was boxy in the wrong places, but it didn't really kind of make it work either. And yeah, I wasn't a fan of this at all. So if they applied that kind of leather to a different fit, I think it might have been lovely, but certainly in that style, I just don't think that this was particularly flattering. And speaking of jackets, there was another one by BB Dakota, which I thought was so, so cute. And I wanted to try it because I love BB Dakota. I pretty much only had good experiences with BB Dakota. I think they're a great brand that really price things affordably, but this was just not a cute fit at all. It was a really pretty kind of pale pink color, a nice drape to it, but the sizing just seemed really odd. I tried on an extra small and it was so boxy and wide in the body that I just felt like it made me look so much bigger than I was. And yeah, I just didn't really like anything about this. So usually a huge fan of BB Dakota, but for me, this jacket was a big no. And for my very last item, I wanted to mention the Sam Edelman leopard print pumps. As I mentioned, I do love me some leopard print shoes and I fell in love with the cold hand ones for their comfort but the Sam Edelman ones were so uncomfortable. I love the shape of them. They had this beautiful scallop detail, but they were so rigid and so stiff and I could instantly tell they were going to give me blisters. So definitely not one for comfort. I would certainly recommend the cold hand ones over the Sam Edelman ones. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. I will leave links to everything I mentioned down below in the description section, as well as the link for that blog post, where I share everything I ordered, as well as the giveaway for the $300 Nordstrom gift card. If you have any other questions for me though, then leave me a comment. If you enjoyed the video, please do give this a thumbs up. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.